still him everywhere you this was the four arm of one the new left to be this center look at that in the corner bring us up on the lab here well this about to all of our listeners all around the world and including Liberia I'll be teaching you concerning the presence of God how to cultivate and how to make the presence of God to be part of you as a born again Christian or a servant of God who are called you you are already dedicated your life to God as a devoted Christian or pious which means is devoted Christian somebody who is ready to do the work of God with all their heart with all their soul with others with, with whatever they have this term I will be talking about the presence of God the essence of the presence of God in your life as a Christian I will I, I, I will let for us to look at some characters that possess the presence of God that carry the presence of God where did the presence of God took them from and brought them in the presence of other people first I would like to start with a servant of God in the Bible called David David was a servant of God he was a son of Jesse and did it, if you look at the last star of David, David was a cast away among the father children. Somebody who, who everybody despised. But the presence of God did not despise him. All because he did something in order to get the presence of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Ladies and gentlemen, all over the world, as a, as a sons and daughters of God, if you want to possess the presence of God, you got to put your left aside. You got to come from a more others. You got to stop what others are doing. This is what the Bible says that as a servant in Christian, in children of God, don't equally yoke with unbeliever. One thing I understand that David was always in the attitude of singing praises and worship to God. While he was in the field taking care of his father's sheep. It was a place that David cultivated the presence of God. It was a place that David took the presence of God. It was a place that David allow the presence of God to manifest in your life. Did they put away everything that will stop him to not, to not cultivate the presence of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. People, wherever you are, and I understand that you are listening to what I'm saying this hour, the presence of God is the great beauty of God. The presence of God takes you from level to level. Some didn't left from the forest and some didn't were taken to a higher peak. Can you imagine somebody was taking from the grass to Greece? Somebody was taking from the grass as a king for Israel. Because of the presence of God, David won the battle between Goliath and the Israelites. Every man who was trained as a military personnel at that time could not overcome the, uh, uh, Goliath. The reason is that because they were taking the battle in the face of God. This is why the Apostle Paul said that the battle is not in the face of God, it's in the supernatural. In Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are, don't play with the presence of God. According to the book of Psalm, the Psalm verse 5, the Bible says, At the presence of God, He'll melt the wise. There are some situations that is in our life, that is in your life, that you are struggling with and you have no means of overcoming it, but the presence of God has the power to overcome that once you find yourself in the presence of God. This is what Psalm David said, I was glad when he told me, Let us go in the house of the Lord. For in the house of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. So there are times we struggle with situations, we are we engage ourselves with things, we, we thank God ourselves with some things in our life and we find no way out. But the presence of God has the power. The man they called Joseph. The man they called Joseph. Joseph was one of the characters who portrayed at the who portrayed the presence of God, who allowed the presence of God to manifest in his life. According to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 5, the Bible says that in union with Christ, we are rich in all things, including wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, with all manners of workmanship. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm saying, I'm talking about the importance of, of the importance of the presence of God. When you carry the presence of God, the presence of God can take you from places to places. Can you imagine? Because of the presence of God, when 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 when, when Joseph entered the house of Potiphar, everything in the house of Potiphar increased. And I believe that Potiphar, he was somebody who who carried the spirit of God also. When you understand that from the day that Joseph entered his room, he felt that everything increased because of the presence of God. And when you are taken into prison because of the person of God, the person of God talking from prison, and from prison, the person of God talking from from, from prison to what to a a, 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 a a prime minister of Israel in Jesus' mighty name. The presence of God, 
I want us this time, wherever you are, if you as a Christian, as a servant of God, not possessing the person of God, you need to do something to get the person of God. If that sin be stopping you to not possess the person of God, take away sin from your life. Do away with sin because sin is the if sin is a what is a barrier to the to, to, towards the person of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are, only son of my God, wherever you are, if you are struggling. In your Christian life, in your Christian journey, and there is no way when you pray, you find Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Lord Almighty, I pray to God for the people. Lord, those are going away, oh God, against Lord the will, the standard of living, going against the man who Allah who is the word of God. Father, I pray right now, oh God, in the life. I command those that you are very struggling with today. I cast it from the root in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of God to manifest now in your life. Holy Ghost, thank you, right now. Holy Spirit, touch somebody right now. Lord, those have been afflicted because of your presence. I release the power of God now in your life in the name of Jesus. I command sickness out of your life, out of your soul, out of your spirit now in the name of Jesus. Whatever power of darkness that you have been contaminated with, every sickness and diseases that is in your blood now, I flush it out now with the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, thank you right now. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you. That was the voice of the Apostle, Apostle Paul R. Montgomery for the fifth set of New Jubilee. Located there in Cordoba community to be specific, um, I mean in Bukana, Labiro. You are once again welcome. This is our normal, our cell normal, and, and this is our office normal. Whenever you are in need, you can call on this number 077 45 86 59. Again, 077 45 86 59. You are once again welcome. Thanks for listening to this. Program. You can also subscribe to our program and go and move in your business.